Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, still tracking wet weather on Doppler radar. Most of the time it's been light, but every now and then some brief heavy downpours. We take a look. Darker green indicates moderate rain, and when you see these small flecks of yellow downpours, brief ones, and, and in some cases the rumble of thunder, though there hasn't been a lot of lightning. These little uh, yellow areas are small, so we're getting real close here. You can see out across uh, Washington County, here's Route 95 right in here, a uh, slightly uh, heavier shower taking shape. And again, small chance of some thunder. In fact, a heavy downpour, very heavy one now, uh, coming through uh, Little Compton, heading towards Dartmouth and New Bedford and Route 6 very shortly. This could, could have the flash of lightning with it. Further to the north in the Providence metro area, some uh, light to moderate rain. When it's not raining, it's just kind of drizzle low clouds and areas of fog. You can see that now in downtown Providence. Of course, the humidity sky high, 96%. So we'll definitely wake up to low clouds and a bit of fog tomorrow morning and a few leftover showers. Temperatures have been holding upper 50s to low 60s most of the night, so it will stay mild. Still 62 in Providence. And you can see the area of rain coming through right now. And notice there's not a lot back to our west. So I'm thinking a few leftover showers tomorrow morning and then drying out in the afternoon. In fact, we could even see a little bit of sunshine late in the day towards the evening hours. Overnight tonight, this is 1 o'clock in the morning, still indicating some scattered showers and perhaps a few heavier downpours. This is 8 o'clock in the morning. And notice while we are seeing some showers, it is nothing widespread. And then during the afternoon, you really don't see much in the way of a widespread rain. 2 o'clock in the afternoon, generally cloudy. But if you look very closely, look at the holes in the clouds. We're starting to see some breaks in the cloud cover. So I do expect probably mid to late afternoon for some breaks of sunshine to come through the cloud cover. The exception will be along the immediate south shore, westerly Newport, lower part of the bay, coastal Massachusetts. The low clouds will probably hang here all day long and as a result it's cooler. But you go inland, you'll see some breaks of sunshine and then partly cloudy skies tomorrow evening. Temperatures overnight are going to hold in the lower 60s tomorrow morning at around 8 a.m. starting off at around 62 to 64. Notice by mid to late day and notice a away from the ocean. If we get enough partial sunshine, we'll get temperatures up into the lower 70s, whereas the south shore should be uh, much cooler because of the cloud cover and the fact that the wind will be coming in uh, off the water. So there'll be a big difference between the weather, say, in Newport tomorrow afternoon and what we see in the Providence metro area. So overnight tonight, more of the same. Periods of rain, areas of fog, small chance of a thunderstorm, temperatures in the 60s. Uh, scattered showers tomorrow morning, especially early on. Some areas of fog as well, starting off kind of gray, 63 degrees. And then during the afternoon, if we catch any partial sun, it would be mid to late afternoon and it will probably be away from the coastline. So inland areas will top out in the lower 70s. I just think the south shore, places like Newport, Narragansett, the low clouds will hang most of the day. And as a result, it uh, should be cooler. Uh, Bay forecast has that poor visibility, especially early in the morning on a south wind at 10 to 20. Good news in all of this, we're still forecasting the weather winning streak, which really kicks in on uh, Thursday and extends through the upcoming weekend and perhaps into Monday of next week. We're talking bright weather, daytime highs in the 70s and nighttime temperatures uh, in the uh, 50s. So once we get by tomorrow morning and especially uh, uh, by the afternoon hours, we are looking pretty good. You can download the Channel 12 app through iTunes or on the iPhone or on the Android smartphone as well. So a little brightening tomorrow, but it may take until late in the day for that to happen. Okay, thanks Tony.